from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big Monday afternoon here on Afternoons LA with incredible details about your fourth stimulus check of 2021 today. In this recording, we go over that monthly stimulus check that the Democrats want you to have the House, the Senate, and the President will be going over the monthly stimulus check and what the Democrats are doing this week and today about the reconciliation process. We'll be going over the breaking news. Biden did it. The President of the United States signed into law a forced stimulus add-on, and it's absolutely wonderful. Then we'll be turning to fifth stimulus that heats up this fall, not just with raising up your benefits a lifetime to a new benchmark, but also giving you another stimulus check for next year. OMG, yes. Then we turn to the incredible news of money. Hundreds of billions of dollars landing your cities and counties and states for you. And it's your turn to get it. Viewers are getting five, six, ten thousand dollars $10,000 by the minute. It's a big day. It's a big midday. And it's a big afternoon starting right now on Afternoons LL8. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Monday afternoon, and I hope you are wonderful. I'm with you direct from Santa Monica, California. The sun is out. There's actually been a sun advisory today telling people to stay inside for the middle of the day because it's actually too sunny, not too, a little bit unhealthy, but hope the weather is good where you are. Tell me where you're tuning in from and how the weather is this Monday afternoon. In this fourth stimulus check updated 2021 this afternoon, we'll be going over the monthly stimulus check, the fourth stimulus check, that the Democrats want you to have House President and White and Senate and also House. We'll be going over all the details about this fourth stimulus check updated 2021, how much you're going to get, when you're going to get it, and all the details and going over the reconciliation vote and going over the breaking news happening even today. Then we'll be turning to fifth stimulus that has another round of stimulus checks in it and raises up your benefits lifetime with SSI and SSDI and applies a benchmark that has more breaking news, not one, but three wonderful breaking news stories about that as well. Then we'll be turning to $1,000 you can get right now. It's a big broadcast. It's an extended afternoon's LA broadcast, and I'm excited you're here, but first, Subscribe. This is LA Light, the only 24 hour a day, seven days a week financial news channel in America. Broadcasting live in the morning, taped in the afternoons, covering everything you need to know around the clock, seven days a week. Hit that subscribe button right now. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year for a reason. No one does what this channel does for you. Get you money. Get you cashing checks, not tracking checks. Hit that subscribe button right now. Also, like this video and consider becoming a member. Let's get right into that fourth stimulus check of 2021 starting right now. The Democrats in the House and Senate universally want you to have it on a monthly basis. They differ on how many checks and how much the checks should be on a monthly basis. Let's compare and contrast. The House bill provides a monthly stimulus check for the remainder of the pandemic plus one year. The Senate proposal, on the other hand, provides a stimulus check from July to December. Now let's go over the monthly payouts. The monthly payouts differ based upon who you're looking at. So the House bill provides a stimulus check for 2,000, a stimulus check on a monthly basis, but the House bill provides it $1,000 per month after the first month. $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter. While the Senate amount is unknown, word on the street is it's this. Wow, that's incredible. $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400. That is per person. Let's go back to something we need to see now in that House and Senate proposals. The House bill provides pandemic plus one year, but some legislative insiders believe that the pandemic may be considered over for purposes of legislation. If that's the case, the House bill from Jalapal will provide 12 months of checks, $13,000 total, compared to this 
over six months from the senators? <laughs> I think you have an opinion. If you have an opinion, jump into the live chat right now after 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and vote House of Senate and tell me where you're tuning in from and how the weather is. Vote House of Senate right now. I want to hear your opinion. Don't wait. All right, let's go over all the other details you need to know about this monthly stimulus check for stimulus check. The Democrats want everyone who got a third stimulus check to get a fourth stimulus check. Yes. So if you make less than $75,000, the Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. Married couple, 150000 or less, the Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. Just double it. Family of four, the Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, the Democrats want you to have a fourth stimulus check. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, and Veterans Benefits. The way we go. The fourth stimulus check is not taxable because it's not income. The fourth stimulus check would come in a monthly basis. It would not come in waves. So it's not a waveable check. So don't wave at it because it won't wave back at you. And you'll feel insulted because you'll think it's a rude check. Hi, hi check. It didn't wave back at me. What's with that check? How rude of him. It's not a waveable check. It can't wave back at you. <laughs> and then the fourth stimulus check would be the same amount for everyone. The fourth stimulus check. I don't know why I always laugh at that joke. I just think it's so stupid. Uh, the fourth stimulus check would be the same amount for everyone. Individuals, adult dependents, minor dependents, and non-waveable people. Uh, the fourth stimulus check would be the same amount for everyone. Um, and that's the great news. Finally, the Democrats propose and represent that the fourth stimulus check would be called for a vote in the month of July by July 4th. That means that you would get a check in the month of July for the month of July, in the month of August for the month of August. And there you go. Wave away. That's the first <laughs> first of three parts of your fourth stimulus check of 2021 update in this recording. Two more parts coming up in this extended afternoon's broadcast. I got so much breaking news for you today. Wow. Uh, it we're going to be running a little bit longer because I got so much wonderful news for you. But coming up in the second half of this video, we'll be going over Fistimus, which has another stimulus check in there we have now learned. And we'll raise your benefits up a lifetime. And we have a lot of breaking news about an additional billion dollars allocated to the program to ensure you get your checks faster. <sighs> wonderful news. But first, let's get some moolah. Moolah. <laughs> as in money. There's a lot of money available for you, and viewers continue to kill it, really kill it. A week ago today, one viewer jumped into Morning's Highlight and said she got six to $7,000 a year because of this channel. Two days ago, one viewer sent me a message on Facebook, said that she was getting, or he was getting four twenty-five a month, which is wonderful. That is a fortune per year. Uh, what is this? It's money for food, rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners utilities, and we're gonna go get it right now. So get a pen and paper ready. Get a pen and paper ready or a Crayola crown and make sure it matches my shirt because <laughs> we don't want to be crashing with your Crayola crown. Has to be purple. And let's go over all the details. That money is landing in your city, counties, and states this week, and it landed last week, and it's $350 billion for you. Well, not just all for you. Come on, don't be so greedy. <laughs> What do you think this is? Powerball? Uh, Publishers Clearinghouse? No. Uh, it's to share. So care, sharing is caring, especially when it's $350 billion. We've got to share that. And it's land your city, counties, and states for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and homeowners assistance. How do you get it? You're going to reach out to different places. I'm going to show you right now. Each has their own eligibility. So if one says no, reach out to the next. They also have their own pots of money. And what is it? It's $5,000 approximately for rent. Yes. Four to six months of rent. Tim got some money. Linda got some money. Viewers continue to rock it. If you got to the penny from this channel, jump into the live chat right now. The penny or the thousands or the tens of thousands or the close to hundreds of thousands because I have gotten some people that much money from this channel because it inspires everyone else. I went to be inspired, and I was inspired when that viewer said she got six, seven thousand dollars a year because of my recordings. So jump into the live chat or in the comments what you got. Every penny makes a difference because it inspires everyone else to get it. All right, you got that pen and paper, Crayola crown ready? <laughs> Let's get to it. You're gonna reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, your county housing authority, your state hall, and your state housing authority, and ask for rent assistance because of COVID. Rent assistance because of COVID. Uh, you can also say mortgage assistance because of COVID. You don't say words that they don't know. So don't say words that they've never heard of, like stimulus. They say, excuse me, 
who? Simi who? No, don't use words they don't know. And don't use words like sirloin, because it'd be like, yeah, but he doesn't work here. <laughs> In fact, he's never really worked. Uh, so don't say words that they don't know either. And there you go. That's $5,000 for rent. Let's turn to the big pot of money that that viewer got. $6,000, what did she get it for? Snap. It is money for your food. It is money for your food. You get it from Department of Agriculture, DOA. You want to reach out to Department of Agriculture and get this money. Gail, uh, uh, Gail got it for herself. Congratulations, Gail. Lynn Glenn got it for herself, for her mom and her son. Congratulations, Gail. And that viewer this morning, uh, last week, got it. Uh, viewers are getting it every single day. If you got it, jump in the live chat right now. It's a fortune. How much is it? It's upwards of $16,000 a year for a family of four in Hawaii. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders, one from Trump and one from Biden, that raise your benefits up 15% between now and December automatically. Some viewers have been asking me, is it automatic? It is automatic. There was initially a delay in February, but it is automatic. So it's 15% between now and December. And it's a federal law, so all states have to raise it 15% on top of whatever they are giving you monthly. And there you go, fifteen, sixty thousand dollars for SNAP per year for family four in Hawaii. Wow, five thousand dollars for rent. We are killing it, and we're at eleven minutes of this video, but we got more money, and it's starting right now. Five thousand dollars. It's wonderful. It's coming back from your states because of a rule for the federal government. The federal government has ordered states to return money back to you. These are states that had overpaid you unemployment assistance due to computer error. Their computer's not yours. Your computer works fine. It's their darn computer. And then they actually return the money back to them. Well, the federal government said, no, it was not the citizen's fault that you had bad computers, Mr. State. You've been ordered to report, return the money back to the citizens. Oh, yes. So one viewer got this $5,000. How do you get it automatically to the account you have on file with that unemployment department? When? Reach out to your respective states for routing time. The last part of the pot of the money is wonderful. And viewers are getting it every single day. More viewers are jumping to the live chat. Thank you so much. That's the spirit of the purple power. People helping people. People keeping everyone inspired, informed, educated, and positive. And people have been sending me private messages or jumping in the live chat saying, I got the tax refund. Tell people it's coming. If you're one of those people, jump in the live chat right now. This is the refund coming back from IRS. Let's go over how much, when you're going to get it, how you can get in the tracking details starting right now. First, it's the amount that you pay to taxes on that unemployment assistance. So let's say you had $9,000 of unemployment assistance in 2020. You paid $5,000 of total taxes, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment assistance. Congratulations. You're getting back $4,000. Next, when? This month, June. How to track it? Go to irs.gov, set up a username and password, and 70% of the time it works. Do a transcript search in the portal. It's free to do it. And it will reveal the tax return you filed, the taxes you paid, and the tax refund you're getting. Wow, now that's wonderful news. Can we top that wonderful news? We can. With the incredible second of three parts of your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 starting right now. The great news is we're currently, this Monday afternoon, one, under reconciliation process. We've been underway for a while. Number two, the reconciliation process will end by July 4th. Number three, it will end with a passage of the vote. And number four, Biden did it. Biden on Sunday signed a major law for forced stimulus into the books. I'll explain that forced stimulus law in just a second. Now, how did we get to this point is important to know. So let's go over the series of breaking news stories that got us to today. The Friday before Memorial Day weekend, Leader Schumer confirmed not one, but three of the reports that I had re been detailing in the days before. Number one, that the reconciliation process had already begun. Number two, that the, it will be done by July 4th. And number three, that it will end with a passage. Wow. Now, how did we get to that point? We got to that point because of a letter from Jalapal, the author of that House Monthly Stimulus Check bill. That letter from Jalapal to Schumer said, call the vote. What are we waiting for recon? Just call the vote on the recon. Let's get it done. Now, what's important is who signed that Jalapal letter. Twelve House Democrats who are among the hundred plus House Democrats who a week earlier had written the president letter saying, we're going to put monthly stimulus checks into the four service package, the Jalapal bill. Oh my goodness, now that is wonderful news. Can we top that wonderful news? We can. When a week earlier, seven House Democrats wrote the president letter saying, 
we're going to put monthly stimulus checks into that forced stimulus package. Oh, my goodness. Well, who are you? Well, they said to the president, we will be writing those monthly stimulus checks and putting them in there. And we just want to be informing you of that nuance. <laughs> who are these people to say that? These are the people who are on the subcommittee that is solely and exclusively for responsible for writing stimulus checks in the U.S. House of Representatives. Oh my goodness, they're on that subcommittee? They are on that subcommittee. Did they write the first stimulus check? They did. Did they write the second? Did they? Yes. Did they write the third? Yes. And now they say they're writing the fourth? Yes. And they say they're writing the fifth. The fifth stimulus check? Yes. That's coming up in the second half of this video. Oh my goodness, can we get better than that? We can. With confirmation just days ago that the markup is currently underway. What's the markup? It is when they're starting to mark up drafts of the bill. Wow, we're getting exciting here. Can we get better than that? We can. As the president on Friday internationally signed into law a forced stimulus add-on that makes forced stimulus kick really to the edge of the finish line and remove some of the extra things from it that are no longer needed now, making it easier to pass. Oh my goodness, what was that? Let me explain what it was. It started on a recent Tuesday ago when I told you there was a series of things that the president was doing that were complicated I needed to slow it down. So I'm going to slow it down right now as well for you so you can understand it easy breezy. Fourth stimulus is paid for by raising the U.S. corporate tax rate. That's the taxes on corporations in the United States. But he had said the president, I was worried, this is him talking, I am worried as your president to raise the U.S. corporate tax rate because companies may leave U.S. soils and move overseas to find a lower corporate tax rate in another country. It's called the race for the bottom. So I propose as your president to get the G7 countries, the leaders of seven major countries around the globe, to raise the minimum corporate tax rate, called the global minimum corporate tax rate, so that a business in the United States would not leave our soils and find a lower corporate tax rate elsewhere. Well, those countries agreed at the time, at the, about two weeks ago, and the president then turned to his insiders and said, wow, I like this. After four stimulus is passed in like October, November, December, I'll reach back to those G7 countries and have them sign on the dotted line about this. And if they do, then we'll come back and remove and reduce certain things under four stimulus. Wow. Now that's wonderful news. Reduce it closer to the, the current corporate tax rate. Yes. But it got better. After a series of reports that I detailed to you that was really covered almost nowhere because it was not front page news at the time. Last Friday, not this Friday, but the Friday before that. And then Saturday and then Thursday, and then last Friday as well, the president went overseas and finally did a big shocker. He got the G7 countries to sign on the dotted line now, not in November, not in December, to agree to that higher global corporate tax rate of 15%. Biden did it. By doing that, he's pulling forced stimulus right to the finish line. By doing that, he's removing provisions from the forced stimulus about corporate taxes that he no longer needs in, a, in the forced stimulus package because they're now in international treaties. By making the situation even easier to get forced stimulus over the finish line. Wow, now that's brilliant. Doing it now, not months from now, it is wonderful. Is there anything more wonderful than that? There are. They're called the volunteers. If you reach out to the volunteers on the community page, they'll help you get that rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance, assistance if you can't find it. Don't sweat if you've reached out to your cities, counties, or, or states and can't find the rent or utilities or SNAP because the volunteers will help you find it. They embody the true spirit of the Purple Power, which is viewers helping viewers. They've stepped forward to help you find that money. So reach out to them. How do you find them? Open the description of this video. Go down the description. You'll see an emoji of a house. Next to that emoji of a house, a link to the community page, news.la.com forward slash community. Click on the link and you'll see a picture of some kitty cats. That's not the volunteers. Those are just kitty cats. <laughs> Lower on the page is the volunteers. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, reach out to them and they'll help you get that money. Here's a little bit about them and I'll be back in 60 seconds with you with more exciting, jaw-dropping, wonderful news about forced stimulus and the exciting details about this stimulus, that raising up of your benefits, and that additional stimulus check. Stay with me. I'll be back in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. 
The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Afternoons LA. It's a big, bold, beautiful Monday afternoon, and I am so excited for you to join me. This is Afternoons LA from Santa Monica. Hope you're having a beautiful day. How's the weather where you are tuning in from? Drop in the comments if you're in the live chat right now and tell me how the weather is and where you're tuning in from. In the second half of this recording, we'll be going over the third part of our fourth stimulus check update of 2021 in this show. We'll be going over the breaking details of the calling the vote, the fake narrative, and the great applause for you. You are doing wonderful as part of the Purple Power in the last 24 hours. Then we'll be turning to fifth stimulus that raises your benefits up and has a $1 billion add-on and a new stimulus check. So subscribe. This is LA Light. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like this video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Coming up after this show is Evenings LA Light and two hours from now, followed by Overnight's Crypto and Evenings Crypto. Stay with the show. When this video is over, it'll automatically send you to Evenings LA Light. Let's get into that fifth stimulus starting right now. Fifth stimulus has really a lot of breaking news, and it is wonderful. I'm going to go over all of the three breaking news stories on fifth stimulus starting right now. Number one, the one you're probably asking about, that stimulus check. Yes. So those seven House Democrats who represent their putting the monthly fourth stimulus check into the fourth stimulus package have also written to the president saying they will be doing a fifth stimulus check. When I think they're thinking that the fifth stimulus check would be January 2022 onward. This stimulus, of course, as you know, starts in September, takes about two months for a recon, as you know, two and a half months. So passage about October, November, but you got December with the holidays. So that makes total perfect sense for timing. This stimulus starting in January for stimulus this year. Next, the president did a wonderful thing just days ago by announcing that he's allocating $1 billion to the Social Security Administration and Benefits Fund to, assist, to facilitate faster payments of your payments to you. He's ramping up payroll, he's ramping up staffing, he's ramping up computers to make sure you get payments on time. This is wonderful. On the eve of fourth stimulus, on the eve of fifth stimulus, and on the eve of the massive new lift of fifth stimulus, it's important that you get your payments on time. Trust me, I had enough of those videos earlier this year about where is my third stimulus check from Direct Express by Comerca? Uh, you know, I got my check from Citibank. My friend got their check from Citibank, but Direct Express by Comerca doesn't have it. Yeah, I, I hope never to make those, have to make those videos again. So this is wonderful, wonderful news. And finally, we have the big news that came in out on Thursday. The Consumer Price Index, CPI, is released monthly. What is that number? It tracks what the current price of goods are. Food, gasoline, car sales. You know it when it goes up. I know it goes up. That's easy. But how much did it go up? For the month of May 2021, it had the highest 12-month growth in nearly 30 years of reporting this number. So what did Wall Street analysts say? They think that inflation will be 
transitory or temporary with a massive spike coming later in this year. That inflation may be 3 or 4 or 5% now, but will grow, 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 and get a spike and then come right back down, down that mountain, sort of like a crypto curve. So what they are thinking is that spike's coming later this year. Let me explain that now for you in the context of this stimulus. This stimulus will raise your benefits up, then remove the asset limit. And the inflationary benchmark, that's that spike I want to go over with you, then remove the income exclusion, remove the marriage penalty. All right, let's go over what that means for you. First, this stimulus would raise your benefits up one time for everyone to bring them up to par. Where Whose benefits? Yours. So if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits, SSA, or any other, or multiple benefits, you'd be raised up one time. Then they would apply a benchmark. Let's go over examples of how this would work. Now, the benchmark is applied in December for benefits for next year. It's done annually. But if it was done today, the inflation rate may be like 4%. But let's go back to that transitory, that temporary spike. We're going up, we're going up. You have to hope, we don't know just yet, but you have to hope that that spike really hits around December, November when they apply your benefits before it goes back down and goes down into like January and February next year. Why? Because this is how your benefits work. So let's say there was a spike of 10% inflation in December for one month. Once they apply, once they lift your benefits under, up under fifth stimulus, they apply the benchmark. Let's say that benchmark is that spike, 10% in December. Then you're raised up 10%, but not just next year. Life time. This is huge because while the spike of inflation may be only 30 days of this U.S. economy, if it coordinates and lands exactly when they're applying the benchmark, you get that lift up a lifetime and you'll never step down. If the inflation rate next year is 0%, you're still at plus 10%. If the inflation rate is 1% the year after that, you're plus 1, plus 10%. You have to hope that spike happens right when they apply the benefits. Wonderful news. Then they're going to remove the asset cap that prevents you from having more than $3,000 in hand. Just in time to get that stimulus check in your hand. There you go. They're going to remove that income exclusion dating back to a 1960s law. It's going to go away that says you can't stay on benefits. Now, and also work. Now you'll be able to work. And finally, the marriage penalty is going to go away. It's a horrible rule. It prevents you from getting married for fear of loss of benefits or penalizes you if you are married. Viewers like Sandy and Rob will be able to get married and no longer fear the marriage penalty. And there you go. That is fifth stimulus. Incredible details. Now, what's important to know is that in addition to fifth stimulus, in addition to the fifth stimulus check, in addition to all those items of fifth stimulus, there's a lot more in there. And in a given day, I don't have enough time in a 30-minute video or even a 40-minute video to go over everything that's in third stimulus, fourth stimulus, and fifth stimulus. Viewers this channel have been killing it on getting money that's theirs. Why? They become because they become members. The membership links at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. By becoming members, you're sent to me, you're sent from me daily a breakdown of everything that's in the third stimulus for you to get, and everything that's proposed in the fourth and fifth stimulus for you to get. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars of money that could potentially be yours that is application based. That if you don't know it exists, you don't know it'll apply. You know that it exists by becoming a member because it's sent to you daily as a breakdown of all the monies that is available out there for you to get. And with that, let's go back to fourth stimulus of 2021's update today and all the details you need to know. Number one, we'll be going to go over the routing times. Number two, I'll be answering some of your questions that I've seen since Sunday afternoon. Number three, I'll be going over fake narratives. And number four, we'll be going over purple power push. First, routing times. Some viewers have been talking about this July 4th date. Let's make sure we understand what this means. They mean that the final vote of the entire voting process would come no later than July 4th. Clearly not on July 4th. That's a holiday. But no later than July 4th. That does not mean you get a check on July 4th. I mean, we viewers know that. The check doesn't just appear like it's a Star Trek episode, like it dissolves and sort of appears like, you know, came from the bridge with uh, Captain Captain Kirk. No, it, the final vote would happen by July 4th. But the fourth stimulus check for the month of July would land on the month of July. Next, we also know that 
uh, people have been asking about the senators. When do we hear more from the senators? You will not hear more from the senators until the two-day votorama, which is those final two days. They intentionally don't want you to know because they want to keep it caucused, quiet among themselves, not tipping off the Republicans. Next, it's important to know the president's talking about your forced stimulus check. The Democrats in the House, the Democrats in the Senate, and the print media are all talking about your forced stimulus checks. The Republican, the GOP is not giving you a stimulus check, so they will not be talking about it. And conservative media is not talking about stimulus checks because they're not giving you stimulus checks. But everyone that's taught that wants you to have a stimulus check is talking about it. So let's go over the routing time of the people who are giving you the stimulus check, the Democrats. The first half are procedural steps the second half are substantive steps. They're required by the Constitution. The no dragging their feet, they're doing the fastest they can. Step one, they call the procedural vote in the subcommittee of the House. Number two, they call the procedural vote in the subcommittee of the, of, of the floor of the House. Step three, the senators vote on the procedural bill. Step four, the president signs a procedural bill. All right, now coming up, steps five, seven, and eight are the most important ones you need to pay attention to. Step five, the House subcommittee. Finish, finishes the substantive bill and calls it for a vote. This is what we were talking about early in this video of marking up the language. They're editing the draft of the bill. They're literally marking up the piece of paper with a pen and paper or Crayola crown. Then when they're ready, they call the vote. If the House members at that subcommittee want to put that monthly stimulus check in, that's where they can. They don't have to, but that's where they can. Step six, the House calls the vote on the substantive bill. Step seven and eight, the two-day voterama in the Senate. It's a two-day event where senators covertly, MacGyverish, quietly, covertly, CIA-ish, keep it very quiet of what they want to do until they call the vote. What are they doing? They're amending whatever they got from the House, if they want to amend. So, for example, let's say the House had no stimulus checks in there. The senators can amend and add them in them. Let's say the House did have stimulus checks in there. The senators can leave it alone. Or let's say the, the, the House members did have stimulus checks in there. The senators can amend them. And step nine, the president signs it into law. Now, fake narratives. Fake narratives. I expect fake narratives all the way to literally the final finish line. Why? Because we've done this before. What are the fake narratives? People talking about fourth stimulus who are elected officials in the Congress, in the Senate or the House that want to insert themselves into the discussion to make it sound like they have something to do with the situation. And you've been wonderful in really understanding this. Why do I put this up front and in, 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 in front of you even before it snowballs more so that you know what it is and you understand what it is and you can, and you can um, comprehend it before it happens? What's at issue? A particular protagonista and her telenovela, which was canceled on Friday, last Friday, who wanted to get ahead of the discussion, say that she was somehow changing the situation. She didn't change anything. She didn't represent the Democrats, and she certainly did not have the authority of the GOP to meet with who she met with. What was she talking about? While the President of the United States was overseas with seven of the largest country's leaders talking about the corporate tax rate to pour, pay for forced stimulus, she was trying to not have corporations pay for forced stimulus, but your gas lien at the gas tank, at the gas pump, pay for it by taxing that. What? Yeah. So this is why things are just fake narratives. She did... She. A university, she ironically got the GOP and the Democrats to agree upon something. She had nothing to do with forced stimulus. She did not have the authority of the GOP leadership to have those meetings with whoever she was meeting with, exiting GOP members, or and did not have the leader, the agreement of the president, Leader Schumer or Pelosi to have those meetings. Now, I don't believe that she will be the only one that will run this fake narrative. Why? Because these elected officials, they want book deals. They want to get on on on, on uh, broadcast TV. They want to get on MSNBC or Rachel Maddow or CNBC or MSNBC or CNBC. They want to get onto TV and they do it by doing these things. Every time they do something like this, it helps them. In 2020, fall of 2020, Josh Hawley did this with the stimulus check discussion of the second stimulus. Did he ever get you any more of a $2,000 stimulus check? No. When it went to a vote, did he do anything about it? No. What did he get out of it? He got the largest donation fund for running for president of nearly any candidate in the field because he put himself out on broadcast media by using your 
stimulus check as the issue of which he didn't deliver. So that's how these elected officials use situations to anchor their political future. Problem creators, they're going to be front and center all week long. I expect them to try to book themselves on broadcast media saying they're going to do this and do that. They have never delivered you anything in 2020 or 2021. So understand you're going to see all these little pockets of people, and I want you to understand they have nothing to do with anything. So no need to send me a message saying, I heard Shelley Moore Capito, or I heard Kristen Sinema, or I heard Problem Creator, or I heard Mitt Romney is trying to do an agreement. No. You, if you start to even hear a sentence or a broadcast news channel that starts with them, change the channel because they, they're not involved in the situation. Joe Manchin is not part of this messiness. He has already confirmed to Schumer and Warnock and Ossoff, all the Democrats in the Senate and the Senate Georgia Democrats, he's on board. He's passing for stimulus. He got what he wanted, which was lowering the corporate tax rate closer to, 25, closer to 25%. He didn't want this 29%. That was a deal the president orchestrated over a month ago. It was wonderful news then. So there you go. Finally, Purple Power. You've been doing a good job, much, much better job. Uh, some of the viewers on Sunday morning said to me, in private messages, LA, you need to come in with tough love. You need to come in much heavier with viewers because they're not tweeting. Whether it was Purple Pie, Purple Pie or Yaya in the live chat or Lynn Glenn in the live chat, viewers are saying, hey, you folks, you need to tweet. You need to get off the phone and stop playing with, you know, Robin Hood or whatever it is and uh, playing ping pong on the phone. You need to be tweeting. There's There was too much apathy. There was too much complacency. And you did a wonderful job Sunday. Sunday, you were on top of it. Uh, viewers went to social media and opened up social media accounts. Um, they, they, some people were calling their elected officials. Hashtag MSC, hashtag Purple Power. If you're on Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, Instagram, or calling them up, talking to their staffers. The, the old-fashioned version of calling on the telephone works really well. Trust me, it does. Uh, if you don't use social media, call them on the phone. And the more voices they hear, the better it, it's important. Because why is this a big issue? There's a few reasons. One, they want to hear from you. They see you. Even if they don't respond, they see you. Understand, this account, LL8 has uh, a quarter million uh, Twitter followers. I see your tweets. I see your tweets. Imagine an elected official who has 50,000 followers and 30,000 followers. They really see your tweets. They don't respond, but they certainly see it. And they say... Boy, I'm seeing a lot of people asking for that monthly stimulus check. George, have we been doing that? Do we have that on point? Because I'm getting, I'm getting flooded with these tweets. They see them. They absolutely see them. You call their offices, their staffers. They don't have, they don't have 55 people on their staff. They, they don't have these enormous 300, 500 person staff. They hear your messages and they send them along. They say, oh, we got another call about those stimulus checks. So it works. It absolutely works. So keep it up. You've been doing a really good job. And with that, join me next on Evenings Allied. I'll be back in two hours from now. Stay with this video. It'll automatically take you to Evenings Allied so you don't have to find it. And then after Evenings Allied, it'll take you automatically to Overnights at Crypto, which was a big hit show. But with that, make sure you subscribe. 400,000 subscribers are YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Keep on tweeting. Keep on sharing the videos on Facebook, Reddit, and Instagram. Like this video. Every like helps. Two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power Cast, CEO VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more.